Hi, I'm Wilson Bickford, professional artist and art instructor. Uh, I've had a fantastic response from my previous YouTube posts that I've had on for the last year. I've had many uh, suggestions and uh, comments and people asking for specific projects and uh, lessons. So I've just posted some more. I hope you enjoy what I've shown you. I wanted to make you aware that I do have a website. It's www.wilsonbickford.com. And I do have some DVDs available on there, one that features an old barn, one that features a sunset. And I do have a new uh, book that's just coming out on the market just now. Um, it's Wildlife Landscapes You Can Paint. It's through Northlight Publishing, which manufactures thousands of art books. This is an acrylic medium. So far, my YouTube lessons have all been in oils. This is an acrylic, and it features animals. And they're all broken down into step-by-step -step fashion. So this is, will be available on my website, also on Amazon.com, and basically worldwide. So thanks for watching my videos. Check out my website and my blog. And I'd love to hear your comments. And I'm sure sometime in the future I'll have some more uh, lessons posted on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Take care. I'm glad you stopped by. I've got something really neat to show you in this lesson. Um, a lot of people comment on my paintings as far as the uh, sun rays and the sun streaks that I put in those. These are very easy to put in. The trick is you've got to wait till the painting is dry. This is an oil painting I did in a class uh, a few months ago. When it was dry, a couple weeks after the fact, um, I put these rays in. I'm going to show you on this canvas today how I did that. Very simple. Um, all it takes is some titanium white and some oil medium. Now this is liquid, which is an alkyd base, but it's compatible with oils. This is Alexander Magic Clear. And this is an oil painting medium number three. It's called from Grumbacher. Any of these clear oil painting mediums will work. Today on my palette for this lesson, <clears throat> I have some of the liquid and some titanium white. All that's required is that we, we make a soupy, uh, milky mixture of the titanium white so that it's translucent and you can actually see through it. So it's somewhat transparent like a sun ray would be. Um, if you're interested in this painting, by the way, this is one that I have on DVD on my website, which is available at wilsonbickford.com. So check that out. You can buy the DVD that will walk you right through this painting from a blank canvas to fruition. So I'm going to take a stiff bristle, bristle fan brush, a little bit of the liquid medium, and a little bit of white. I want it just a very, not super runny, and I don't need a lot of it on the brush. That's the thing. Um, I just want to get a little bit of a looser mixture of that paint. And you'll see I knock a little bit of it right off the brush once I get it on there. But I want to thin it down. Now this is going to look absolutely terrible until I blend it. You want to think of your sun as being a circle. This doesn't show the complete sun, but there's a glow there, so I know where it is. These will have to emanate from the sun, and the trick is putting them in straight. Now, I'm pretty fortunate that I've got a steady hand and I can put them in pretty straight. Sometimes you can take a yardstick or a ruler or a dowel and place it up here and actually guide the handle of your brush across that, which will help. But notice they all come from a common point right in the middle of that sunspot. And see, it's almost a dry brush technique. Not a lot of paint, and I can actually see the texture of the leaves and whatnot right through it. So you don't need a lot of paint. Vary the sizes. Make some of them skinny, some of them a little wider. Don't get them spaced too perfectly and symmetrically. Now see, they look very transparent like they should. This is so easy once the painting is dry. A lot of people don't realize that you've got to dry the painting to do this. It'll take you a couple weeks or more for that oil painting to dry. If they look a little heavy, you just take another brush, something similar to a one inch brush that's a stiffer bristle, nothing on it. And I just whisk over those. You see that it thins the paint layer out, actually lays it down, makes it even yet a little more transparent. 
And that's all there is to it. They could actually be going up this way, depending on your sunburst and how you want it to look. I've got another one here I want to share with you. I've got another canvas here. Different time of day, totally different mood. But since the sun is out, we can have some streaks in it. It doesn't have to be a red sunset to have streaks in it. Now this has a lot of cool colors in it. But I've got the nice warm glow of the atmosphere, the sun shining through there, I can see it. So I load up the same, same deal. Um, just not much paint, don't need much. Make it a little milky, a little thin. Do the same thing I just showed you. I can make this shine right down on the water. The thing is getting them straight. You can't have them crooked. And it looks like I'm just throwing them on here, but I've done this many times. And like I said, I've gotten pretty good over the years to be able to do a straight line. Make that one a little wider, just for a difference. And maybe have some coming off this way a little bit. These are so easy to do and they're so dramatic. People love this effect. And if anything will sell your painting, this will do it. So don't be afraid to try this. I have nothing on the canvas, no medium or anything like that. It's completely dry. You don't have to wet it down with anything special. Like I said, I just uh, lubricated my paint, thinned my paint down a little bit so it's more translucent with the medium. And it's just titanium white is all you need. If it's a little heavy, you just brush it out with a stiff bristle brush, just enough to thin the paint layer down. Now don't you think you can do that? This is so easy. You can do it. I know you can. This is one of the coolest things that uh, you can do for a painting. It just really finishes it off, gives it that really professional look. Thanks for joining me. Don't be afraid to check out Obsidian Custom Video. Their link will be at the end of this segment. Um, they're doing my filming and editing for me. They do a great job. So if you need some filmography done, they're the people to see. I'll see you next time. Keep painting.